and some good money. Well, boys. <laughs> Well, boys, welcome to Suburban Deer Camp. <laughs> First day of the night, she was a big girl. Yeah. We did it! You did it! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another Yaffe video. Today we are doing a doe management hunting video with the Sequon boys, Chris B, and a ton of other people. Lee's right here. The boys are getting ready, shooting their bows. Let's talk to Lee real quick. What's up, man? What you doing? You made it. Oh, look at that. I haven't done an intro or anything. Explain what's kind of going on, why you do this every year. What's super important for us is to like preach the management side of deer hunting. Some of these areas and especially like suburban areas are like really, really overpopulated. Like it's a bad, bad problem to the point where it's not healthy for the deer. There's not enough food to go around. There has to be a bit of population control in these areas. And we're going to the most overpopulated areas in Atlanta. These particular areas, like there's a huge problem. We need to just take as many deer as we possibly can. And the good part of that is it's better for the deer herd to lighten some of the load of the deer pressure in these places. The outcome is that we're going to donate a lot of these deer to churches and homeless shelters in downtown Atlanta. So it's better for the deer, better for the environment, better for roadways, but also we're going to be literally feeding people off the streets of Atlanta with the efforts that we will do this next few days. And it gets a bunch of like-minded people together to have a good time. We're all spending the night at Lee's house. There's going to be how many people here? I don't even know. Like eight to 10 something? Maybe more. <laughs> So we're all gonna be spending the night on the floor, on air mattresses, on the couch. Maybe I might be able to sleep with old Lee. Get... No. No? No. Oh, okay. No. You got a big what bed. happened last time. <laughs> okay. We got a bunch of different people, so I'm excited just to hang out with everybody, lay down some does, and uh, for a good cause. Oh, oh I, was hey. gonna come. I was gonna jump in behind you. How <laughs> good you to been? See ya. This is my target buck I'm gonna go after. <laughs> Lee, found, Lee found him just uh, a little bit earlier this morning. <laughs> Helicopter dropped him off just for me. For those of you that don't know who Chris is, Chris set me up a brand new Matthews bow. I haven't really got to use it much. He took it home and drew it back and blew it up. <laughs> Did that ever? Did that ever make it to the, think to the interwebs? No. <laughs> <laughs> I might show a little clip. I only filmed it like on my phone, like a Snapchat. Either way, man, it's good to freaking it see you. So Lee has absolutely been hammering down. This is his Ohio buck, and it is an absolute giant. He euro mounted a 160 inch deer from Kentucky. 170, 170 inch deer. That's how you know Lee put the smack down on some bucks, but he honestly doesn't have any room in his trophy room. So I'll show you the trophy room real fast. Quick little glance. He does not have any room in his trophy room and that's why he's Euro mounting these monsters. Must be nice. Those are all freaking studs. So the Saquon boys and me are the only ones from out of town. So everybody's kind of shooting their bows, getting ready, right. making sure nothing has bumped off. I might need to take a few shots, honestly. It is quiet. See? Did it sound weird? <laughs> uh, close. Don't make fun of my dang uh, technique. I'm one of those, uh, pull down here. <laughs> oh, hot. Oh, that's because it's at 30. You <laughs> <laughs> should probably change that. Right? <laughs> we'll probably change that. <laughs> we are on at 30. <laughs> Good thing I <laughs> didn't shoot over. But. My 20 should be on. Um, they were right there beside each other. So I'm excited to finally get in the woods and hopefully put an arrow through something. This year has been tough. I've been chasing a bunch of different bucks from Atlanta to Gainesville to Winder and finally being able to get to use the bow that Chris B set up for me. I'm excited. Arrows are flying good. It's shooting great. Just haven't been able to shoot anything with it. So today's the day, hopefully. <laughs> good luck tonight. <laughs> so we are linking up with old Griffin, new friend. Lee and Chris are at their spot. We just dropped Drew off at his spot. so. About to head and get in the stand. Do we have to set up anything? No, nah, everything's already saddle set up. and everything's yeah. in there. So we're ready to rock and roll. Well, get out of the truck. There's freaking turkeys right there. Tom's too. That's pretty crazy. We're about to get in the tree. Start swacking some does. Griffin said there's a ton of does over here and potentially a good buck that could show up. And he said if it if it gets my heart pumping that I could shoot it. So I'm excited. It just feels good having everybody out in the woods. I know there's some people that don't hunt, but 
if you can look past the hunting side of it. We're just trying to do our part as far as the deer management goes. All these deer are going to be donated like Lee said earlier. So it's just for a great cause, getting a ton of people together. And uh, it's going to be awesome hunting these next few days. Hopefully we can lay down some does tonight between me and Griffin. Also, I want to thank Griffin for let me hunt this set. We just met today and he's letting me hunt here. So the best part is I didn't even have to hang my sticks or platform. Griffin already had me set up. So we're ready to rock and roll. Gonna be flinging some arrows here soon. First visitors of the night. We got some turkeys. They're actually sitting right under Griffin right now. That's freaking cool. We'll have to ask Griffin if we can come back in here during turkey season and get us a suburban freaking long beard. I looked at them through my binoculars and their beards are just scrubbing the ground. That's freaking sick. Well, we still haven't seen anything other than those turkeys, which is still really, really cool. But we're in a big group chat, and Lee, I think, has shot two or three. Chris has shot two. Kendall shot one or two. So we're still putting them on the ground. We still have a good amount of light left, so hopefully, hopefully these deer will come in. smoked one 6 30 is last light at 6 29 right now <laughs> that uv pin is lit up baby hey she's dead 20 yards from me <laughs> say what she's dead 20 yards from me <laughs> <laughs> oh man i was worried there for a second but we got one. Lee's got like four or five. I don't know how many. There's gonna be a ton of does at Lee's house. Like I said, all these deer are gonna be feeding people off the streets of Atlanta, so it's a great cause. And uh, we just got our first doe on the very first night here in Atlanta. That's my first deer in Atlanta. Um, and that's only my second deer in Georgia, so it feels good to let an arrow sling. Man, that was awesome. All right, let's get down. Luckily at this spot, Griffin already <laughs> pulled his truck up. He saw her go down right over here, so not much of a tracking job. Well, she's right up here. Let's go see her. There is nothing better than seeing a lighted knock and a good doe on the ground. So the truck is literally right here, less than less than 10 yards. We're gonna get her loaded up and uh, meet back up with everybody. Got her loaded up. I don't know if Drew shot anything. He's the, probably the closest to us, but I know Lee, Chris, Kendall, pretty much everybody. Jay is on the board and Lee and Chris, I'm pretty sure put a smack down. I'm talking like four or five a piece. So we'll see. Already a beginning of a good night though. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it, Griffin. Of course. That of was course. awesome, man. Having you. We'll pick you guys up whenever we meet back with the boys. And how you doing? What's up? Good to see you, buddy. How you been? Oh, I this is seen you in forever. I know. Man. It's almost been a year. So this is oh, Bill from Spartan yeah. Forge. He's the man of the hour. No, you're the man. <laughs> what happened tonight? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. Not a thing. All right, we won't speak on it. No. <laughs> it's good to see you, Bill. Drew, what happened tonight? We just got in here and started talking about it. Will, no make the deer have us figured out. That corn just it gets demolished within a day. So all the deer are just going straight to the field. Had like 20 of them walk by us, but they're all like 100 yards. So. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. See, the great thing about it is, is we got the deer killer himself, old Jay Maxwell. He, uh, what you, you killed two tonight? Killed two tonight, yeah. Yeah, two good does tonight. It, it was really tricky, though. Yeah, I heard. Windy and the, they were circling. You had to turn the old camera around. Dude, no, check this out. So, camera arm's on this side, right? I like yeah. it on my right side. Right. I had to go like this, get the camera arm this way, come around this way, and then catch him right here, shooting him right here, had to go over the camera arm. Self-filming is, uh... Man. It's fun. It's rewarding. <laughs> In the end, if you can actually get it done, it's very rewarding. But the good thing is, Jay's cooking up some deer chili. Excuse deer me. Chili. And that is fitting Excuse for. That. Oh, Excuse me. Kevin, Kevin's over there. Yeah, by, Jay's by himself. In the video, look, he's picking up trash. I'm just clear. It is a full on deer camp at the good old Lee Ellis residence. The deer absolutely piling up. 
There's seven out there right now, and Lee and Chris have not even showed up with all the deer they shot tonight. So it's getting interesting. And the craziest thing is, is we're gonna be hunting tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening, so it's gonna be hectic. Hey, I heard you shot a dog. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought it was a deer. Hey, hey I heard you shot a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get. Well, look, we got two. You got Lee two. got four. Yeah. Lee definitely set himself up. No, to he put up said some he put himself in the worst spot. Yeah, right. Nah, I mean, I we, I saw a lot. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go take a look at all y'all's deer. Look at all these rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> True statement. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God, it is a pile, son. We put a hurting on them, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that pretty much wraps up the very first night here in Atlanta with everybody. Chris B, Lee, the suburban guys from Alabama. I mean, there's people from all over the place. We're all just having a good time. We got some deer, a ton of deer on the ground. Last year's doe management, they shot 13 deer in two days. We did it in one night. There's probably gonna be 30 deer that are gonna be processed over the weekend, over these next few days that we're hunting, that are gonna get processed and go straight to people that are in need. So we got a lot of work to do, cleaning these deer, getting them ready to take to the processor tomorrow. And we're also getting up early, waking up, getting in the stand and doing the same thing over again. It's gonna be a good time. We got a lot of good people here and uh, just enjoying this, enjoying the moment, enjoying a little deer camp in Atlanta at Lee's house. So. We're having a blast and uh, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Stay tuned. Hopefully we can swack another doe or potentially a buck. Sit number two. Got one doe last night. I'm hunting with Lee today. He's going to be filming me. Chris is on the same property, so I'm excited to be hunting with these boys. We'll pick you back up in the stand. We got a little bit of a walk. Me and Lee had a super, super slow morning. This has been what he calls his money spot on a serious this, note this, is, this has been the most reliable spot no spot i've ever had last sure. year you and and uh chris shot like four over here at least four it might have been five so this is an awesome spot i think it just something to do with the weather was so warm yesterday and then this morning it's in the 30s i was freezing my butt off tonight i think they're gonna be on their feet i'm guessing that these deer are just bedded down this morning not wanting to move just like us, I'm freezing right now. So we're gonna head, get some food. I had fun though this morning. But... No, we did. <laughs> I had fun. And uh, we saw one, one came in. I don't even know if Lee could get on her. And she was just downwind. But we're gonna head back, grab some old Waffle House, warm up these bones, and uh, get back in the woods this evening for hopefully a good evening hunt. Let's see what Chris has to say. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. <laughs> <laughs> How'd your morning go? Not good, couple button bucks. Lee's putting us in the dark hole. <laughs> High hopes for this evening though. This is this is how our uh, our morning went. <laughs> if real trees watching this video, my bad. My bad guys. Oh. <laughs> this is their truck that they let us borrow. Oh no. <laughs> I won't my bad it. dudes. There we go, good oh. as new. Just put this little guy. Right here. Little duct tape. Oh yeah. Victim to a tree, <laughs> that tree. All right, old Jay's taking the first load. I'm about to get a lot of. <laughs> a lot of looks. The deer are getting loaded up right now. That is the first run. So there's gonna be a whole nother run tomorrow. We're about to go get in the woods tonight and hopefully do the same thing all over again. Me and Chris are gonna try to do our parts tonight. Yeah. Lay some more does down, potentially a big buck. Sure. Yep. yep. Lee's going to another spot where he has a big buck. Yep. Lee's put the hammer down on some dough, so hopefully yeah. we can do the same tonight. But yeah. either way, me and Chris got about a 30 minute drive. We're about to jump back in the woods and yeah. uh, hopefully get it done. It's gonna be exciting. Wash your hands and get ready. Let's go. All right, brother. Good luck. Smack them. It's sit number three. Chris is about 150 to 200 yards away from me. There's two or three good bucks in here that we might have the potential to shoot, but the mission is to knock down as many does as possible. And in this specific tree last night, Lee shot four does. So there was 10 to 15 does out in front of him. And that's the reason that we're doing this doe management is because of places like this where these deer are eating everything in the woods. If management wasn't to happen like this, each and every year the herd will get bigger and bigger 
therefore making the deer less healthier due to the amount of food that's in the woods right now. And that's why in the suburban areas, people, they're eating their grass, they're eating their flowers, anything that these deer can munch on, they're eating. So we're just trying to do our part, but I'm excited. This magnolia tree is tiny, but I am covered up. There's leaves everywhere. There's no way that these deer can see me. The only thing is, is the top might fall out. I'm gonna show you real quick what this tree looks like. All this is cover. The deer should be coming down right to right here. Got my bow on this side. Got my tethered hung right here. Got my camera right there. Extra arrows, bag. We are all set in this thing. I mean, completely camoed in. Whew, looks good. Pretty big day headed this way. on the ground. I just heard Chris shoot from across the way. We're about 200, 300 yards apart. So I don't know if it was a doe or that buck he was after. But if it was a buck, it was a good one. I've never gone out and emptied a full quiver. We got one more arrow left, so we'll see. This is a pretty cool sight. All these lighted knocks on the ground. <laughs> All right, we just got back to the truck, checking with Chris and Jason. I don't know what they got other than Chris has got a doe. Jason's phone died, so we're gonna check in with the boys and see what happened the rest of their hunt. All right, what's the verdict? 
Got one. Got I heard one. you shoot too. <laughs> yeah. I heard. I heard two of them. I was looking through the binoculars trying to find you out there. I was trying to. <laughs> I, you were. You were like too far into yeah. it. Yeah. But tell me something, Jason. Nothing. Nothing. Dude, I feel so bad because you're from Ohio. What, yeah. How far was the drive? Well, I was in Charlotte for work, but it's okay. an 11-hour drive. So you have an 11-hour drive home, and these Atlanta deer have given you the runaround. It's brutal. God, and brutal. the spot that he thought about hunting this evening but didn't, he hunted there this morning, they <laughs> shot three does and two bucks. So <laughs> it's just luck of the draw here. I was actually supposed to hunt Jason's spot. He ended up coming with us, so I moved to Lee's spot from last night and it ended up working out. We're gonna go get my three does and get Chris's doe and then try to get out of here. We got a long night. There's a bunch of deer that hit the ground. All right, let's go find these does. Look at these arrows, boys. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have the 2018 ones, but gotta replicate them. The oh, there she is right there. <laughs> that works. All right, we found, I'm pretty sure this is the first one. From That might be the, the first one, I can't tell. They, 10, 15 yards of each other. Yeah, so we got one, Big dose, two. Too. Yeah, I wasn't letting y'all talk crap again about my li about my little, little dog. puppy dog no. you shot the other day. So that's one, two, and the other one's right by the truck. Man, doe days in Atlanta are fun. Are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is not a magnum though, that's for sure. All right, so Lee shot his buck. What do you call him, Sneaky Fingers? No, that was the spike. Oh, it was a different deer? So the deer that Lee killed, he thinks it's like eight years old, just a brute. Um, but Kendall shot a deer, thought he hit it high, and they went out there and found him, so I'm gonna call him, see. Um, the boys have seen it, I haven't, I didn't get the picture yet. Hello? I heard you done did some. You know I done did it. <laughs> Congrats, you're freaking tagged out in Georgia, baby. Uh, dude, I was I was a little concerned about my shot, but when I found my arrow, it was pretty uh, covered here, and I had really good penetration. So. All right. Well, either way, you want me to pick up some cold beers, have them ready for you on the way. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> all right, well, we're celebrating tonight. Chris is leaving tomorrow. All the, I guess all the boys are leaving tomorrow, so this is the last little hoorah, and we freaking yes. laid them down. Yes, we did. All right, brother, I'll see you soon. Hey, now we got to get on that buck. I know, we <laughs> own it. All right, well, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, see you, man. That is freaking awesome. Man, what are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you a nice big deal? Laying them down. <laughs> That's what I needed. You're not just here to drink beer and watch. <laughs> well, now you are. Yeah, now yeah. I am. How about them apples? Jeez. Yeah. Congrats, hey, brother. we did it. We did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was uh, I was a little sketched out with my shot. Like. Yeah, I think everybody uh, was. I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I remembered. I was like, hey, this it's, daggum it, tree stands it, 50 it, feet it, in the sky. It, it's super, super high <clears throat> up in that tree. So. Um, Dude, and stuff. then after I looked back at the footage, like I, I could tell I got good penetration, but when we found the arrow, it was literally like four inches didn't have blood on it. He broke mm. off like four inches inside, and uh, he was maybe 50 yards from, from there. So. Oh, five point, baby. <laughs> Freaking grandpa. You're so old. That's Look that's at that, gnarly dude. dude. Old. Wow. I had him on camera last year, and I was like, golly, that's an old deer. And then this year, he just grew as like a. Well, I guess he's a sick boy. He's, he's just he, like he's Groot. He's ancient, <laughs> old. And you go f just kill a random stud. <laughs> a real big deer. Is he here? I've had, yeah, I've had pictures of him all season. He wasn't telling I'm, nobody I'm about it. <laughs> Man, this is amazing. Lee just brought his deer in. Kendall brought his deer. We got a great group of guys. Yo, yo. <laughs> Having a blast, celebrating one of the last few days of season, spending it all together and just doing some deer management. And like I said multiple times in this video, giving all this meat to the needy. Set aside the trophies, set aside the memories. At the end of the day, this is gonna feed hundreds of people. I think it's in total on average, probably around 1,200 to 1,300 pounds of meat. We got a lot of work to do, but it is time to celebrate with the boys, get some food, maybe grab a few brews and uh, just take it all in with everybody. We got a great group of guys out here, so it's been a blast. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. 
This has been amazing. All right, Chris is packing up. He's heading to an archery tournament tomorrow. Tomorrow, I guess. Flying so. out. 7 a.m. flight. Shooting tomorrow. But honestly, yeah. this is the best part of the trip, you know? Chris coming into town. Oh, I thought you were going to say me leaving. No! <laughs> yeah, that too. Glad to see you. Glad I got to finally put the bow to work. Check out Chris's channel. He's packing up, getting ready to go, but... We're hoping to do some stuff during the summer and maybe even plan another trip other than in Atlanta this year. We need so. to get on the books. Bye. Good to see you again, brother. Nice you too, man. Well, boys. You said you're going to look at it. It's your turn. Running off and coming back in. Oh, man, we don't need to be Just say it. Why are you looking at it? Okay, three, two, one. Really? Okay. We shot over 30 deer in two days.